Welcome to another tutorial for reverse decoupage. First I separate my 3-ply napkin and only keep the ply with the design on it. I then place the napkin on top with the design side facing inwards, so that the design will be visible from the inside of the bowl. I gently slide my finger across the napkin to remove any bubbles or creases. Because primer and sealer underneath is almost dry now, there is little chance of me tearing the napkin. However, if the surface was too wet, then the napkin would wrinkle, and if I glided with my finger across it, it would definitely tear. After I finish one section, I move on to the other. As I moved to the right side of the napkin, I noticed I made a big mistake. I didn't notice that the napkin folded and dried, so now there was a big crease. I wanted to save the napkin, so I scraped it off very slowly. I think it took me about 10 minutes. And, and all I ended up with was a tiny tear, which was not a problem. I cleaned the glass with a precision knife. Next I apply the coat of primer and sealer on top of the napkin. As I do this, the napkin becomes transparent. This means it is well attached to the surface. For me, the biggest challenge with decoupage is connecting the pieces of the napkin together. After the second napkin was safely glued on, I cut off the excess napkin. Perhaps it would have been easier if I did that beforehand. It would have made the bending of the napkin easier. This is the third and final napkin. To cut the napkin I first make a crease and this will be my guideline for cutting it later. After cutting the excess napkin from the top of the bowl, I applied three coats of white chalk paint. This is why white background works best with napkins. It really makes the images visible. I then applied three coats of vintage paint metallic bronze. A coat of primer and sealer on top of the bowl helps the paint adhere better. Using silicone molds and hot glue, I made trim for the top of the bowl. After applying a coat of primer and sealer, I applied metallic bronze paint. I glued the trim on top of the bowl and held it in place with clothespins until the glue dried.
with a brush I removed the excess glue. And this is the finished bowl. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button for notifications. Thank you very much for watching.